Let's take a look at this problem. We want to factor completely. The polynomial cannot be factored right, not factorable. So we got um, 3x squared plus 13x plus 4. Now this would be the key number method. The reason why I say key number is because we have x squared x, no x, and there's a number in front of x squared. With the key number, we take a number at the beginning times a number at the end, ignoring signs. Number at the beginning times a number at the end. And 3 times 4 is 12. We're going to write down all the products to give us 12. <clears throat> we got 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. The S column, we want to add those together. 1 plus 12 is 13, 2 plus 6 is 8, 3 plus 4 is 7. And a difference column, we want to subtract smaller from larger. 12 minus 1 is 11, 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. The number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 13, which is right here, which means we use 1 and 12. So we're going to rewrite our middle term using those two numbers. Now our larger number in the P column that we're using, which is the 12, will always be the same sign as the middle term, which in this case is positive. So we've got a plus 12x. Number our circles in the S column, S for same signs, both positive, both negative. Since the 12 was positive, then the 1 will be positive. So we've got plus 1x. Then we want to factor by grouping. Group first two terms together, group last two terms together. GCF of the first two terms is 3x. And that gives us x plus 4. Now there is no GCF of the second group, but you always want to factor something out. If you can factor nothing else out, then factor out a 1. And that leaves us x plus 4. Now remember our goal with grouping is to get this parentheses the same as this, which they are. So I'll factor out an x plus 4, and that leaves us 3x plus 1. To figure out what goes in your second set of parentheses, remember you can come up here and cross out the x plus 4s. And what isn't crossed out is what goes right here. And that would be our answer.